Okay, so I'm at the back of 916. Uh, I'm gonna do a video on what Ron and I looked at today. There's quite a few places you'll see that, uh, like you said, there, see there's a little arrow, a little spot right in there. Um, a lot of touch-up paint is what we'll need to do for a lot of the cosmetic stuff. Um, my first and biggest issue, which Ron looked at, was that guy right there. So that whole fascia front end, it's all tore up. There's a giant hole. Um, needs a lot of work right there. A lot of bird poop, as you can see. So they're, they're definitely living in it. Um, I'm gonna walk down this way. This trash does get pretty bad. Uh, I'm gonna file a complaint again with the, um, with the city against this hotel. They are not only throwing stuff back in here, but if you see that diaper and that diaper, and there's another diaper up there, they're throwing it onto the roof. And I've got a couple of pictures showing that as well, because I had to get up on the roof and throw the diapers off of it today. Well, that was pleasant. So I'm gonna walk down here. Um, this, all this junk has to go. It's going up the, the heat tape, which is laying down here on the floor or on the ground and not up on the roof anymore. You'll see areas of the, uh, the soffit that are getting very thin and or rotting away. Um, see that right there. If you walk down here, there's quite a few spots. As soon as this is adjusts, you see right there, there's a big, uh, I can go with my gloves on. Maybe, maybe not. Can't do it. But it's right there, there's a big hole. Um, more vines. Some of the fascia board is should be okay. I think what we'll do is we'll just buy um, that metal aluminum cap, I'll show you that in the front. Here in a few, there's another spot that's really bad. So quite a few fascia boards and some of the soffit boards underneath will actually need cut out and redone. Here's a prime example. Another one that uh, you can see bird's nests in there and that one, that one needs done. Uh, this whole board is shot. On that one right there, that whole the whole fascia board is bad. Uh, again, lots of lots of trash everywhere down this hole. Come on, zoom in. There we go. Sorry guys. Anyway, so lots of uh, lots and lots and lots and lots of trash. Um, walk down here some more. Another board. So pretty much the entire length of this, you've got different ones of rotted. This rotted board. Uh, there's another bad one down here, I thought. Got a bike and a diaper and uh, stuff on there. That's that's gross. Not sure what I just touched. Yeah, that's pretty much the extent of it. So what we'll have to do is actually go down here line by line and our um, portable board and see which ones are bad and replace them as needed. Uh, again, to document the continuous trash we just had this cleaned up right before winter so and it's it's only you know very spring now just may 1st so or thereabouts and there's a ton of debris that's hitting our building and coming in between the buildings there's this is an obvious safety and health hazard got broken glass not to mention anything else that might be in here uh oh, look shotgun shell right there that's it's a bullet uh, remnants of kids casing. It's good stuff. Uh, we're gonna walk around front. I picked up three bags of, or three barrels of trash already from different property, and there's quite a few here. Our trash thing is always being used by everyone except for who they should be. Um, on this property, it looks pretty good. If you can see from here, there's an aluminum trim board uh, that just goes around and covers the the actual trim or the face of, see you can see it right there uh, anyway um, that is on two-thirds of the building the shrubbery needs cleaned up uh, he pointed out a couple different places if I say he Ron up there you can see uh, we'll need the paint or the buildings come together just it's faded there I uh, got some still pictures of this to put the tickets that you can see right there in that corner of that soffit board is one to come down. It's got a little gap in it. Uh, got some gutter nails that have popped out. We'll walk around front here. This fascia board is rotted away. Um, 
left who has replaced that one. Same thing with that guy. These guys, some of this, again, may just be able to paint over it and use that metal trim to solve that problem. There's another spot that needs some touch up. This right here, we need to seal up with something besides foam. It looks kind of gnarly. And again, you can see this is, a lot of this just needs painted. Um, this board right here, you can see this part of the building has that same aluminum trim, that part does not. We'll lock down this way. Towards suite one. More uh, painting, pretty much. The steam is not too bad. We'll have to add a little bit more of that um, leveler, or the uh, patch. There's a chunk right here that's coming out. This piece right here, it's starting to wiggle. Um, so if we just seal that back up, it might be okay. In front of it's not too bad. Looks pretty good. All the way across. This is the front side of that alley. Uh, we have a tree that's all the way back there too. Uh, forgot to show you that. This tree right there. We need to cut that guy all the way down to the ground. So it doesn't grow as much anymore. Okay, that is the status of 916. The parking lot doesn't seem to be in terrible, terrible shape, but odds are if we do it, if we don't do it this year, it'll get worse by next year. Uh, you can see all the splinters in it already, despite all that uh, gator patch we put in. It's starting to crack a little bit. Uh, we have about four or five major, I said major potholes, significant ones anyway, that uh, are going to require some needs, some stuff there. See, right in there, right in there. Other than that, uh, we're good to go. So, that's Status 916.